Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Google Authenticator on Bybit. So, before we start, hurry up and check out Hades Software just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up Bybit. Now, in your Bybit account, what we need to do is we need to access our settings for us to set up our two-factor authentication for Google Authenticator. In this case, let's go ahead and basically go back here. So in this case, at the top left, you should be able to see your profile icon. Go ahead and click on it. Now at the top right, go ahead and click on the settings icon. Now from here, you want to scroll down a bit here. You want to click on the security option. Now under security, you want to look for Google 2FA authentication or Google 2 factor authentication. Now go ahead and turn that on. Now from here, it's going to ask you to send or in this case, uh, use or see the verification code that was sent to your email. In this case, you want to go ahead and open up your Gmail here. Let's go open up Gmail. And from here, you want to go ahead and open up any email that you receive. Now go ahead and copy the uh, verification code or security code here. Go back into Bybit and you should be able to see this UI here. Now, if the text itself or the verification code was not um, and, uh, automatically added, you might want to paste it that in there. But in this case, once in here, you just need to follow the on-screen steps. Now, first, you need to install the Google Authenticator app. But once you've installed that, just click on Continue. Now, you should be able to see a key on your screen here. So in this case, just click on Copy Key. And from here, you want to go ahead and exit this one. And you want to go ahead and open up Google Authenticator. Now, in this case, once you've opened Google, Google Authenticator here, you should be able to see your screen. Now, in the Google Authenticator, if you haven't created your account or if you haven't logged in, go ahead and do that. So, in this case, at the bottom right, you should see a plus button. But as you can see right now, my screen or Google, Google Authenticator is actually a protected app, meaning you won't be able to see my screen here. But just to give you an example, uh, I actually have a screenshot here that I could show you. So, in this case, this is what's going to look like. Again, like what I mentioned before, there should be a plus button at the bottom right here. Go ahead and click on it and you want to choose either enter passkey or you want to use your, in this case, your QR code. But in this case, you can go and use enter passkey and once you've choos chosen that, you want to go ahead and basically enter the necessary details. So that includes the key that we just recently copied from Bybit, like what we just did here. And you want to go ahead and basically enter that. Now, in this case, you might also want to provide an account name here. Just to give a quick description here that may be mentioned by bit in your account. And you could also choose what type of key, either a counter base or a time base here. Now, once you've added all the details, just click on the add option here. So just give me the, I'm going to add by bit here. I want to add my key here. Let's go ahead and copy or paste that in here and click on add. And it should now be added into my account which in this case, you could go ahead and copy the code that you see right now on your screen. So in this case, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So if I, let's go and click on next here. And again, you wanna go ahead and copy the code that you have on your authenticator here, since we just have that. So let's go ahead and enter that in here. So it's uh, three, six. And you wanna go ahead and complete that. So zero. And once you've added your dedication code here, it should give you that it was successfully uh, entered. So let me just enter that again. And as you can see right now, it's going to say Google authentication successful. As you can see, it's now turned on. So whenever you try logging in into your account, it should ask you to enter your two-factor dedication from Google Authenticator. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.